super excited for the band to be back in 2016 now and it's fifth year stamps we love supporting live and local music in Geelong and there's plenty of it. We want to make you the next famous Will, the next Sam Hans and give you the exposure you deserve because yep. uh, we've got incredible live and local music around here in Geelong and the Surf Coast. Five grand on offer too if you are the winner of the band and supporting Samantha Jade at Run Geelong. So get your entries in krock.com.au. One of those entries, Tom, Josh, Felix, Trick Gypsy, welcome. Hello. Good How day. you doing? Thanks for dropping in, guys. What made you enter the band for 2016? Well, we entered last year. Yeah, yeah. We didn't make it, so this year we decided Ooh. to give oh, well, Who was judging, who was judging this last year? This awkward. Ouch. Yeah, uh, Stampsy, you no, don't recognise talent when you see it. Hey, Hopefully they it make it this year then. It was competition. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, yeah. That's right. We, we recorded some singles and yep. we posted them to the band this time. And yeah, cool. Yeah. How long have you guys been mm. together for? Oh, about a year and a half now, yeah. probably. A year and a half, probably. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and so what, what, how would you describe your type of music if someone asked? Very heavily 90s influenced. Yep. I'd say very Australian 90s, like Jebediah. Oh, cool. And, I uh, love the Jebs. Yeah. You know, a bit of Grinspoon, that jazz. maybe. Just, just punk. Yep. Just <laughs> punk just grunge, but <laughs> with a nice pop twang to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, got it all the covered. music would have yeah, brought you together, but how did you guys actually meet? Well, um, Felix and I used to go to school together. Yep. And Felix one day messaged me. He's like, hey, want to be in a band? I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> Yes. That's and like saying you want free McDonald's. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I... um. I came into contact with the band through a mutual friend yep. um, and I'd been playing with him through a couple of school groups and I'd already been in a band before so I sort of wanted to get back into yeah, cool. sort of that thing and um, yeah, um, I sort of got into contact with Felix and uh, he said, you know, you're a good bass player by the sounds yep. of it. So. <laughs> See what so yeah. We'll give yeah. it a crack. Now, you guys, have you been touring? How much exposure have you had? Because obviously this is an opportunity not only to get a free gig, but go on to get some massive exposure. Well, we've probably gigged uh, once or twice a month Okay. Um, around the Geelong area. We've had one gig in Melbourne. Yep. Um, that was at the Post Office Hotel. But, yeah, we play pretty frequently at the uh, Workers' Club and Barn Club. Yeah, yeah cool. nice. We've actually got another gig coming up on the 10th. At the workers' club. Yeah, cool. That's well, I got to warn Tom's birthday. Hey. Oh. I got to warn you, Josh from Afternoons is in love with your band. He's like, you, you should check out this song. It's awesome. I keep playing. I can't stop. Oh, thank but you. That's how he talks too. <laughs> <laughs> you do really bad impersonations. Yeah. Just FYI. Yeah, who would you? Is there any bands out there that you sort of hope that you don't come up against in the finals or something like that? And you know, Foo Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll just check if they made it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it is close, but, you know, yeah. you might not make the cut. Yeah, Foo I tell Fighters. you what, if the Foo Fighters make it, there is no other bands in there. Like, <laughs> let's just award it. Uh, who does all the writing in the, in the, in well, the band, or is it Primarily me. Like, yep. I, I come up with the, with the bass with the jelly slicer, then Josh and Tom. Yep. Is that how you describe it? Yeah, yeah. And um, it's like, like we just mould it together to a beautiful music. Yeah, very nice. Oh, very cool. Hey, we're about to play the song Trick Gypsy. Uh, Trick Gypsy. Uh, sorry, Stacey. Uh, tell us a little bit about this one. Well, it was a song I wrote. It was very, I guess, influenced by Nirvana, I'd say, yeah. Lithium, the song. And then um, we're trying to figure out what the chorus was sounded like. And we figured it out it's kind of like a late Grinspoon kind of sound. Yeah, cool. Yeah. But, like, it's it's a song I wrote one day in, in my room, pretty much, and it turned out to be a good song. All right, we'll get I, it I on. Ju- I just remember writing that, like, seeing the chorus thing for you, and then you were like, that sounds all right, we might use that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you can hang around for the rest of the band. That's what he probably said. <laughs> hey, let's get on. We'll have a chat to you off the back. This is uh, Trick Gypsy, one of the entries for uh, K-Rock's The Band for 2016, the song Stacy on K-Rock.
It is K-Rox to Parcher Lounge. We are eight minutes away from news time coming up just after five o'clock. The Wednesday Workers Quiz joined by the band Trick Gypsy. And uh, that was the song Stacey, one of the entrants for uh, K-Rox, the band in 2016. I'm just going to shout out to Roddy too, just sitting there on yeah. the couch. I think, uh, He's the one who does all the leg work. <laughs> you know? I think, you know, all support staff should get uh, kudos as well. But uh, Felix, you were just saying uh, your mum uh, got the call about hearing a song on the radio yeah, the other day. Um, yeah. Yeah, one of um, I was at home and then mum got a call from one of her mates saying, "Put K Rock on right now," <laughs> and she kind of like, "Why?" Like, okay, she put there, it on. There's a woman screaming at me. Why yeah. do I have to turn on the radio? And she put it on and it was our song. And then mm. she was like, "Listen to this," and I was just kind of gobsmacked. That's cool. Play. I remember the first time there was a band called Japan Four who I think were out in the in Lara, and they they were the first guys who said, "Oh, it was so cool to hear our song on 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 radio." So yeah, well, we're looking forward to the band 2016's first semi final. I think is the end of uh next week. Mm. He's still got time to enter although we're about to close off entry so if you are in a band, make sure you uh, send your details through and um, yeah, join the band 2016. We've got uh, five grand's worth of airplay up for grabs plus uh, you can warm up the crowd with Samantha Jade ahead of Run Geelong We're talking in, in front of, of 10,000 people. We're right. at, uh, that, does that terrify or excite you guys, 10,000 people <laughs> at Run Geelong? Excites me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really get nervous anymore so it's just fun to look at all these people. Yeah. <laughs> You can't take the edge off with a beer at 10 in the morning either, so... Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, rock and roll, man. Yeah. Rock and roll. Uh, Trick Gypsy, thanks so much and all the best for the competition. No